I started with the Auto Show about 10 years ago, and uh, the last two years I've been the chairman of the Philadelphia Auto Show, and we see about 250,000 patrons through the show during our nine-day run. So I've been the director of the Philadelphia Auto Show since the 1996 show, which puts me here a little over 20 years at the Pennsylvania Convention Center. So I've had a couple decades, year in, year out, of being able to work here in the Pennsylvania Convention Center with the great staff here and, uh, and organize and, and run the auto show, which takes up over 700,000 square feet right now. That's halls A through E, the Grand Hall, and Hall F downstairs. Yeah, well, we've seen uh, quite an evolution in my 10 years, and I can say assuredly that we're at the peak of performance right now with the management in the building, SMG who's managing the building. Uh, overall, it's quantum leaps, and we're at the pinnacle of convention and industry right now in Philadelphia. It has gone from a place where you felt as a show manager that there was very little you could do when there was an issue on the floor, very few people that were willing to help you address it, very few people that were available to help you fix it. And that has changed. The philosophy and just the culture within this building has changed to now a much more customer-friendly environment where they are racing to come to your need. They want to make sure that you are leaving here with a smile on your face, that you are always putting Philadelphia on your list of places that you're going to come back to in the future. So what we've seen here is a seamless experience that just, you know, we can handle the things on our own. We know when we need labor in and when we need them, they're there for us. And they're there for us with a smile on their face. The efficiencies of the work being done, the consolidation of the union workforce has made it just easier to understand the rules, easier to uh, have your supervisors interact with the people directly on the floor to be able to get your booth set up in a timely, efficient, and, and match your budget that you were set out to um, and actually find that number at the end of the day. It's just, it's a culmination of really bringing the workforce together, a positive change in attitude, a much more efficient structure uh, in terms of getting the work done, and it all nets one thing, and that's a happy client, which makes for a happy show manager, and really has helped us grow the show to the level where we see it today. You know, the, the partnership I think that we have felt as an association with the staff here at the building, with SMG, with the PCVB, has really gotten so much better over the years, because I think now it's, it's an understanding of the overall picture of what our event is, uh, in terms of not only hotel rooms, um, but economic impact here to the city of Philadelphia, uh, the labor force that we employ while we're here, uh, and just the sheer number of people that it takes to put this event together. Yeah, SMG has been a dramatic uh, help and a big part of our change in, in satisfaction. I mean, they know what goes on in other convention cities, they know what goes on in other convention centers, and they know how to run auto shows as well. So they know all the answers to our questions before we ask them. I knew when we weren't competing, and I know when we are competing. And I'm telling you right now in Philadelphia, they are competing. But more importantly, look, you can't change geography. They didn't have to go out into the wilderness to give you a convention center. They're in the middle of the city, steps away from where they can get diverse dining, hotel rooms that are walking distance, the full culture of Philadelphia, the birthplace of America, it's all steps away. And then you get the high level of service and all the facilities you need. It's a no brainer to come to Philadelphia. If you're not looking at it seriously, then do your job and look at it seriously.